Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for dropping by and art. Thank you so much for that uh, follow. Hopefully, you do not regret it. Um, this is not me playing. <laughs> this is the demo. Uh, I am not that wasteful. Uh, I am. I come from a long history of. Uh, I come from a very long history of not using special weapons. I don't know why. I just don't. Um, <clears throat> I also don't know why when you leave the options menu, it forces you to go back through the, uh, start. But man, I just, uh, somebody gifted me this the other day, and I just want to share it, because I love this game so much. I haven't played it in so many years. I used to play Mega Man X, like, religiously. I, I think I probably played it... Probably two, three hundred times. Um, I used to play um, before school. Like I would just go beat the game and then leave for school, <laughs> which has got to be the dumbest way to prepare for school. Just I'm just gonna knock out a game. Taking a lot of unnecessary damage. Um, I really am better than this, but I found that I have gotten much less good at video games since I was a kid. I don't know if that's the, if that's the case for everybody. I don't know if that's the case for you, but playing a lot of these these retro style games, I'm finding that I'm not nearly as good at video games as I thought I was. I used to be so much better. I could do this without taking any damage whatsoever. Maybe that some of that is just uh, maybe some of it is just my my uh, familiarity with the game is gone. But I think a lot of it is just I'm not that good at it anymore. <laughs> One thing that I really wish that they had put into this game is the ability to, con to to play starting from this point. Like, you can never go back to this starting mission. And I think that would have been a cool addition to the game. I don't think a lot of people would have used it, but I would have. Because I just, I love this first mission, just the design and being able to actually see the city as opposed to just these special zones that the Mavericks are in. I love doing this. Also, I don't know why, I just do. He's going slightly faster than me. But I guess I do get a little bit of a speed boost as long as I use a fully damaged one. You actually have to destroy three of these. You can't just, uh, dodge them. They come forever until you destroy three. I'd also love to come back here and fight Vile when I have the, the technology to actually beat him. For safety's sake, I have to take that because I have one dot left and I don't want to die because I accidentally touched something. And this is the point where I realized in the Mega Man X series, Mega Man is not my favorite character. Or pardon me, X. X is not my favorite character. I don't, I don't particularly care for him as much. Zero is so much better as a character, I think. Hey, looks like we got something else. Art of Lonnie, thank you so much for that a host. I appreciate it so, so much, hitting that button. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're, we're, uh, 
We're playing a little Mega Man X. Just because I've done so much of, of what is it, Trials of Mana that we've been playing. And somebody gifted me this, and oh, I it, it hit me with so much nostalgia, I had to play it. No, this isn't on the console. This is actually uh, the Steam, the Legacy Edition, uh, or the Legacy Collection. Otherwise, it wouldn't look as good. Uh, I do have the scan lines turned on, I think, but not the original pixel, pixel art. All right. Does anybody want to de decide where we're going, or am I just going with my usual order? I'll go anywhere y'all tell me to. Kill the bug. Bug. Merkwanger? Not really a bug. There's a chameleon. Okay, the chameleon. Okay. Kill the lizard! Okay, I'm after the lizard then. Uh, this one I f can't get all the, uh, the the benefits, so I'll have to come back. Oh, my logo is still on the screen. Ah, sorry. <laughs> all right, that should that should work. Sorry about that. I forgot to switch my scenes. I set it up properly, and then I just derped on actually switching to it. Hey, baby. Boomer Quanger is a beetle. I don't know if he's a beetle or a samurai. It's, it's not really here. Hey, Bart, thank you so much for giving that gift sub. I appreciate it so much. Yeah, I can't make it. Oh, not without dash. Ow! Oh, don't fill up. Don't fill up. It's a lot harder when I've got that thing causing trouble up top. Ow. Ow. I, I swear, this is, this is the same thing that's going to get me killed fighting the boss here. I'm just not very good at detecting the things falling from above. I don't know why. And I'm also a little distracted because I'm, you know, talking. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna blame you. Alright, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get it back. I'm not that bad. Look up. Yeah, I know. I need. I, I'm not very good at it in this. I don't know why. Things falling just trip me up. Hey, I can dash in this. I don't have any sub tanks yet, but I will. Ah, losing the ability to to to. to no. I love making him do the transition in weird poses. <laughs> I got new batteries for that, by the way. Now when I use it, it's actually a little better than it was now. It is really hard to dodge those without dash. Ow! 
the thing of it, it's just really hard to dodge anything without dash. I probably should have done Chill Penguin first. not going overly well so far, but I have had worse. Ow! Much worse. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to win this. a shot and see what I could do. I'm really not as good at this as I used to be. Oh man, I could usually do this with no damage. But it's been so long since I've played. Yeah, there's two minute cooldown. how often he's invisible. Kick him into balls! I'm doing well so far. Ah! I had sprint. Dash is just so imperative in this game. That I don't mind. Are oh, you little shit? the next hits. Oh, it's whoever gets the next hit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. <gasps> oh, you little shit! No! Oh! Oh, why was that? No! That's all right. We can get this. It's no problem. I am getting a little bit better, I think. That and he didn't use the, uh... That move quite so often. This is what I loved about these games. They, they weren't exactly hard, but they were, they were fairly unforgiving. Oh, shit. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Oh. Oh, okay. Fuck you, dude. Reaction speed just isn't as good as it used to be. You know, I'm I'm getting older and it's a lot harder to get these. 
charges. Oh, stop doing that! Oh, come on, next hit, next hit. Yes! And it's over! Yes! Okay. Eat, that wasn't so bad. Alright, so who are we going after next? Please say Chill Penguin. Please say Chill Penguin. I don't want to have to do any more of these without Dash. What are we gonna do? Please say Chill Penguin. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. We got Flame Mammoth, Boomer Quanger, uh, Spark Mandrel, uh, Storm. Worm Eagle? Armored Armadillo? Or, uh, what the hell is he called? Launch Octopus. Please, please say Chill Penguin. I will say Psych. <laughs> if I don't hear anything in like 30 seconds, I'm going with Chill Penguin. Because this is what I want. I want Dash. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it in like 10 seconds. Well, 20, I guess. I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a decent amount of time for you guys to have heard my warning that it's gonna be 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna go with Shell Penguin, unless y'all tell me otherwise. Y'all gotta tell me. Alright, we're going to Chill Penguin. We're doing it! Ah, so weird to have actually beaten something before Chill Penguin. Oh, you little shit. Oh no, it went away! I couldn't grab it safely. Alright, as soon as we get into this cave, we can kill some bats, and these bats drop lots of health and pie. That's a hard jump to make without dash. I find it interesting that they decided to put that there at all. So you've come. X, I give you the ability to choose your own path. Gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hoped the world would allow you to choose a peaceful but now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers. Beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. Oh. 
Yes! <laughs> you knocked me into health! How dare you! I hate the little pink things that race up to you and then pause. No point going over there without flame mammoths. Oh, um, by the way, I just want to suggest to everyone that that's watching, uh, because I'm not going to wait for uh, Twitch to decide whether or not they're going to put their head up their ass. Uh, they've already put their head up their ass, so until they decide to change it, I'm going to already start by instructing anybody watching my stream that uh, I suggest you all get um, adblock. Go ahead, put it on. Uh, they they want to talk real big about how, oh, the ads that they run benefit streamers. No, I've made a dollar ten uh, throughout the entire time I've been streaming. I've made a dollar ten on ads. Uh, that is not what I would consider to my benefit. Not when you consider the detriments. And um, they've recently made the decision that they're going to add random mid-roll ads that could cover up content. It will definitely uh, mute me, and it will put me in the bottom right-hand corner of my own streams channel. Uh, there's no way to anticipate it. It is not uh, uniform, so it's not like my entire channel gets ad-blocked at the same time. Every individual person has 15-minute windows in which they may or may not get an ad um, and if you have seen an ad, it gives you like a 15 minute immunity. Um, but they they run them once an hour. Um, and I'm just, I'm not, I'm not about that. Um, I don't want you guys to not see my content because Twitch is running an ad that they can't be bothered to tell me about so that I can take a break or something or allow me to control it somehow so that I can be taking a break when you guys see an ad so you don't miss anything. I want you to not miss anything. I don't care about it being a draw to, to make people subscribe to me. I care more about not having my people miss bits of my stream. So, uh, I suggest y'all get ad block. That way you won't see those mid-roll ads. And you will be able to see everything that I do without Twitch interrupting it. And when they decide to get their heads out of their ass and do something that's not cataclysmic and doesn't harm my stream, then I'll recommend that you guys turn it off again. I'll keep you guys in the loop and let you know when Twitch gets their heads out of their asses. We can start supporting them with ads again. Fuck! Um, but for right now, much better idea to just turn on ad block. won't see any of those mid-roll ads, won't miss a thing in channel, and really, I won't be missing out on much... Uh, ad revenue. I, I do not care about ad revenue. Um, if bits for ads is still working in where you are, you can feel free to go ahead and do those. But don't watch ads for me.
And whenever Twitch says, you know, that we're doing this for the benefit of our streamers, don't ever believe them. It doesn't. It doesn't benefit us nearly as much as subs, bits, that sort of thing. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce the damage to your systems by 50%. But yeah, that's my my uh, position right now. I will let you know when Twitch is not being asshats, but for now, they are being asshats. So, uh, fuck them. Go ahead and grab... Uh, go ahead and grab ad block so that you don't see it. Alright, so where are we going to go next? Does anybody have any opinions? I suppose we'll do probably this one here in... A few seconds if I don't hear from anybody. Or if I accidentally slap my controller and it hits the button. Which it almost did, but thankfully I was a little off and didn't hit the button. But let me know, where do you guys think we should go? Um, Storm Eagle is usually my next person on the chopping block. Not because of anything regarding his immunities or anything. No, I... Matter of fact, I don't know who Chill Penguin is best against. Actually, I think it's Spark Mandrel. Um, the thing about Mega Man X is that it seems like um, some of the Maverick weapons are best against multiple Mavericks, and some of the Maverick weapons just suck. Like, Armored Armadillo just sucks. The, the only thing it's effective against is Sigma. Um... I don't know that Storm Eagle is actually good against anything. Uh, Spark Mandrel is good against Armored Armadillo. I think only that. Um, Boomer Quanger is good against uh, Melian and Launch Octopus. So I don't know. Um, I haven't heard anything, so I'm going to go with Storm Eagle. Wow, we've already been going for half an hour? Now we do have a little bit of control over the, um, over the ads. So, for instance, for instance, we, I can roll a mid-roll ad right now on my own, and it will lock out the, uh, the non-voluntary mid-roll ads for 15 minutes. So essentially, if I decide to do it myself, then they won't do it, but I've got to be right on the minute. Otherwise, they might go ahead and add me anyway. And that would be bad. First heart tank. I don't know what the heart tank was supposed to look like. It looks kind of like a screw. But I don't know what they were going for. Thank you. 
No! You do not flame my butt! Oh yeah! There's another one here! I forgot about this upgrade. Or rather, I wasn't thinking about it. I knew it was here, I knew where to find it, I just forgot that it was here. It's an upgrade to my helmet, which will allow me to break some ceilings with a headbutt. Very few of them, but some of them. I don't know why I do this, it's not required, and it doesn't give you anything. I just like to blow the stuff up, I don't know. give me much pressure. Oh, hello. You can skip all the open and close animations there. I'm not sure why this blows up. I'm also not sure why he gets the chance to push me before the, uh, Floating animation stops. This one I don't know if I could beat without dash. I know it's possible, and I know I've done it before. I just don't know that I could still do it. Sorry, there's, I know I'm quiet, but there's audio cues here. And they only work if you have stereo sound. <laughs> doesn't do anything it just pushes you and tries to push you off like the worst thing he does is that thing where he spits the egg and if he, the egg hits the ground then four little birds split from it other than that his weapons are all just trying to push you off the egg oh yeah and the dot the the dive his dives can hurt you let's see what are we gonna do next Oh, you do Spark Mandrel. One thing I have always loved about Mega Man games is the soundtracks. The soundtracks for these are amazing. Soundtrack. There. I wanted to push it up just a little bit for you. Oh, that's right. It's not just the uh, the weapons that give you an edge in X. Um, there's also changes to the environments themselves. 
because of damage to other environments. Ah. So like in this case, these these conduits would be having little sparks go across them from time to time. If I hadn't been uh, Storm Eagle and had his airship crash. like how well Mega Man did at teaching you to do things. Also, this guy would be a lot different. Ow! Because he'd be doing little blasts down at the ground. Those. Those would have little lightning bolts. And you'd have to plug into that to charge up. But since there's no power flowing through the base, it doesn't get to charge up, which means no little zappy thunderbolts. Damn it. Those. Mm. I think we're subject to those little moonbeam guys in here again. might just be annoying. I think it's just annoying. This is... Oh, damn. There we go. That can be a hard one to grab. It's actually much easier once you have Boomer Quanger's weapon. Here we go. Damn it. Woo! I'm getting hit by every one of them here. <laughs> Oops. That's all right. Spark Mandrel's next, and if I really get in trouble with him, I know his weakness. And I have it. But I, I shouldn't have to worry about it. He's a pretty easy boss. Ow. Ooh. Little shit. Enough of that. take too long. I think his invulnerability is also shorter than some of the other uh, Mavericks. Alright, let's do the Launch Octopus next. <laughs> Ba 
That wasn't too bad. Oh, you little shit! Switching directions in the middle of that slowdown. Maybe it has another attack that I wasn't getting because I shot that off. Thank you, no depth charges for me. Appreciate you. Came out the wrong way. For some reason, I was sure he was going to go the other way. He has much less room to maneuver here. I do feel like this is a wasted opportunity to have you beating this thing downstairs would make it not show up here. But that's not what they decided to do, and that's fine. Oof. That's not fair. He should suck me in. That's fine. And to the Maverick, to the boss! Thank you. 
like him doing this attack. It's much easier to dodge than the missiles. I didn't even realize how close to death he was. Apparently I'm doing more damage than I think. God, I haven't played this game in so long. Homing Torpedo. Go back here and grab a heart tank. And that's it from there. What else? Is there? Let's go to Flame Mammoth. I swear my uh, fingers are really starting to hurt. I'm getting old. <laughs> Come on. I bad. That's so weird. That should be grabbing. Come on. There we go. There we go. This capsule contains a part which will increase the capabilities of your X-Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. Kind of changes the story a little later on, but I'm okay with that. That's not me, by the way. This is a demo. They do really well at that in this game. Um, where they demonstrate everything. Learn by doing. Like, it shows you how things work. Another energy tank, hell yes.
Ow! Why do you do this to me? Now, let's see how we do against Flame Mammoth, which is something I usually do a lot earlier. I don't know what those things in the background are. They look like, like, creepy worms with skulls and shit. No thank you. No thank you. Oof. Yes, by all means, keep just running! I just figured it out. Flame Mammoth is Rupert. All he does is run! Did take a little damage, I think. Not much. Yeah, I think I clipped one fireball. Definitely warming back up to it. I really wish they had demonstrated the second form because if you charge them up once you have the upgraded X Buster, they have a second attack form. A real quick jump in here and grab his heart tank. I also apologize if I am being a little quieter than usual. Um, my uh, voice is still hurting a little bit from yesterday. Alright, so we've got two more of those to grab. Those should be from Armored Armadillo and Boomer Quanger. However, in the meantime, it's been an hour, and I'm going to run a quick break. Um, I'm not going to do any ads because fuck ads, fuck Twitch. Um, that may be a little bit of, of, you know, shitting where I eat my meals, but you know what? They can't hurt me much more than they already have. Uh, so I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be gone about three to five minutes, and I will see you guys on the flip side. All right, welcome back, everybody. Sorry for the extended break. Had to go to the bathroom real quick. All right, let's go to Boomer Quanger next. That'll allow us to get a heart tank and eventually subject... Well, I have to go back in for 
both the heart tank and the sub tank. But it'll give me the tools to get them. Ah, this old school stuff, it's, it just gets me, man. I just love this stuff. Turtle just respawn. so much damage for no reason. Well, I'm glad I was invincible during that. Otherwise, those spikes are instant death. Of course, if I wasn't invincible, if I wasn't invincible, it would have been because I didn't get hit. If I didn't get hit, then I would have dodged them. Fine. Don't miss the ladder. It gets you very, very dead very, very fast. remember what Boomer Quanger's weakness is. I think it might be Sting Chameleon? I don't remember. It's something that makes his boomerang go away. time to choose to turn around. Is it knocking backwards, like, towards me? Not backwards away from the attack. Hey, Wavy, how you doing? Thank you for dropping by. We're in the back half of the, uh, of the stream now. I've actually only got one more Maverick to go, and then Sigma. There are, I want to say, three Sigma stages? Just finished dinner, what'd you have? Now that, the Boomer Quanger, I don't know why they didn't make it look more like his horns. Um... Because the way that they make them look, they look a lot like Cutman's Cutter from Mega Man 1? Woo. 
Gotta get up and get that heart tank. Homemade spaghetti, that's nice. Love the music in these games. Ah, oh. I cry every time. that boomerang cutter Whoop. and it's mine go back to spark mandrel because right here at the beginning we have another sub tank we can get Armored Armadillo. The only one left before we unlock the Sigma stage. This is, I think, one of the coolest stages, but one of the stupidest bosses. Oh, hey! That little throwback to the uh, Mega Man 2 uh, bats has a really high chance of dropping extra lives. wasn't on my screen, it didn't actually do any of the tunneling. Oh no wait, it was falling down. I got you. I thought it started that low. I was like, did it just not destroy a bunch of the brain because I wasn't there? the age-old question, if a digger digs terrain and Mega Man isn't around to see it, does the terrain even get digged? Digged? Dug. And that's full health for this game.
Okay, for armor armadillo, I think he's cheap. Don't use bark. Hey, eight lives too. whether he's going to do the full roll or the only one roll. Games, they're fun, but they're killing my hands. <laughs> and here we go, my favorite character we see for the second time in the game. Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans! And teleport. So you teleport into a random place to have a discussion, and then teleport to another random place. I know this seems weird. I have no reason to go back here, do I? Eh. We'll see. Some things, all the heart tanks, got all the upgrades. Or might just be missing one of the most powerful upgrades in the entire game. Am I killing myself? Good question. Have to find out, won't we? Is 
This is an old enough game. I'm, I'm sure you all know what I'm doing. Ooh, that was close. I don't know, is there anybody here who's never played Mega Man X? Um, because if so, you are exactly the kind of person that I made this stream for. <laughs> the whole point is I want to share my love of these older games, these, these cool old styles that, you know, everybody says can't work anymore. You know, everybody says you can't make platformers anymore, you can't make side-scrollers, you can't make old RPG. Like, everything that I love, they're like, you can't do that anymore. Nobody will buy them. Like, I didn't buy Mighty Number no. 9, but I didn't buy Ni Mighty Number no. 9 because I heard all about Mighty Number no. 9. <laughs> it was just really badly done and mostly just a cash grab. Hey! Look at that! I give you a special present! Now enter the capsule, please! That means I have everything else in the game! And I get the Hadouken. <laughs> you haven't played it? Okay, so you don't know what the Hadouken does! Well, we'll see soon enough. Let's go to Sigma's castle. And there I can properly demonstrate the Hadouken. Let's split up. I'll go in first, and then you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. And Zero is so cool. I love Zero. In case y'all didn't know, Zero's my favorite character. So you know, the Hadouken is not a weapon, it's an ability, and you can't just use it whenever. Like, I can use it now, I couldn't use it a second ago. Um, it harkens back to older game mechanics, right? Specifically, I think it was inspired by The Legend of Zelda? Uh, and the ability to use the uh, the beam sword at full uh, full HP. Oh shit! Ah! Uh, I hate the little pink helicopter dudes. I really, really do. <laughs> no more. I hate you so much right now. Vile! Dude from the beginning of the game we haven't ever seen before. Stay back, X. I'll take him on. Aren't you supposed to be off distracting the main force? Now you gotta hear this. Listen real close.
That's giving you a bunch of hints about the next fight. Telling you what's going on. X, do what I tell you or he's history. Don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him. Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. My armored carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapon. They're only like 20 or 30 years old. Also, my special weapons aren't old at all. Special weapons are only as old as your Maverick Hunter's weapon. Or your Maverick's weapon. Maybe, but I'm not through yet. What a worthless gesture. I can't be beat it so easily. So, X, it's just you and me now. What the? Where did that energy come from? It really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, X. You're still far too weak. Prepare to be terminated. That's what it does. That's what the Hadouken does. It kills anything. One hit. Anything. X, I've taken too much damage. But repair systems can't handle it. My power is fading fast. Your power is greater than I thought. Maybe you can destroy Sigma. Oh man, that that was the first time I cried in a video game. They did it before Final Fantasy VII made it cool. Was two enemies off of the same spawn, by the way. I really hate when it does. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, what do we got here? Boomer Quanger. Oh, you're gonna be easy. Woo! That was close. <laughs> well, this just makes it so much easier going through these. This one, interesting. Ah. You have to, it's, it's always gonna make any turn that it can. You kinda gotta map what its course down is gonna be. And sometimes it clips your head whether you want it to or not. And it never seems to want to give me an easy pattern my first time. You can only hit it when that little light on its back is up. Sometimes at times like this, I wind up just panicking and just hoping that I'm right. There we go. I don't know why. My reactions are just a lot slower than they used to be. So that's the trick, right? Um, you can use the Hadouken if you have full health. So if the boss can get anything off on you before you can get it off on them, you're dead. Well, you gotta beat them the old fashioned way. More correctly. Hmm. And that's why I wind up using half of my sub tanks. It's not because, oh, I'm about to die. It's because, oh, I want another chance to use the Hadouken. <laughs> Oh, 
That dude is a basic bitch blast. Come on, man. Oh, that sucked. Getting frozen. Oh, well. Not being able to use the Hadouken is not the end of the world. Fucker, stop that! That was painful. how that little thing was harder to beat than these Mavericks. Wound up not beating him at all. It was really hard back in the day when I had manorial sound. And I had to figure out where he was coming down just by running back and forth and finding out. Did you stop with the eggs? Oh my god. No. 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 No fucking eggs. You've made too many masks. I mean, I, I, I'm not trying to say you're doing a bad thing, but you've made an awful lot of masks. how to actually nail it with this there is a trick to it oh no wait I may not be able to no I'm not able to Fuck. 
Oh, I hate when I destroy the nose first. All for a good cause. It is for a good cause. I will give you that. I will definitely give you that. But, a lot of goddamn masks. Good enough window. Okay. Gotcha. Sometimes it's actually harder to hit them with the Hadouken than it is to just kill them normally. It's just faster. Oh, you bastards! Much, much easier. Oh, one dot short. get to actually use all their weaknesses just because I don't want to have to fight them again when it's the exact same fight for no reason uh, one one moment everybody And I'm back. Punching him in the face with blocks of ice. Oh, I'm still on shotgun ice. Nope. Give me the X Buster. Boomerang cutter, there we are. There we go. All right. On Choctopus. Gonna get fucked. Actually, no, I don't.
Gotcha. I love how they still have him respirate. Like, he's still blowing bubbles. Even though he's a robot that doesn't actually need uh, water, uh, air to breathe. Oh my god! Stop! Oh my god, I'm not gonna risk this. I'm taking way too much damage. Play Mammoth! Hey, hey, hey! Enough of that! This is another one where it, it has a situational effect for taking enough damage from Boomerang Cutter. Oh. I have no idea what caused that. I did not do that. I think now he can't signal to turn it back and forth and he can't use the uh, oil slick. Like, he can still jump, but he can't switch the uh, conveyor. that it matters much. Almost killed him. I wish I had killed it, uh, knocked that trunk off when it was going the other way. <laughs> yeah, I definitely can't use the Hadouken now. That's okay. He's actually not that hard, he's just weird. Certainly doesn't start out hard. And then I promptly take damage. Like, it's hard to dodge. Alright, and the last Sigma stage. We are almost done with this game. Then, of course, we've got X2, X3, and X4. Also in this one game package. Welcome. I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. I could destroy you, but I would not rob my pet of that pleasure. 
don't know why I give him a bad voice, like a villain voice, because he's he's actually one of the best Maverick Hunt. Bye-bye, doggy. Excellent job, X. I see why Zero counted on you. You're almost as good a hunter as I was. But the time of your destruction has arrived. You shall regret having ever defied me. Ooh. Damn. trying to calculate his his route because he's not moving at 45 degree angles. I didn't want to use any of my sub tanks. Because I've actually had a lot of problems with the last fight lately. Yes, we get to listen through all of your bullshit again. Yes, yes, yes. You wouldn't want to deprive your dog of the pleasure. Oof. Accidentally hit him when they didn't get the Hadouken off. was a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Here's where we get to have fun. I think you actually can Hadouken here. I obviously can't now, but I think it is possible, it's just very difficult. It's also possible to cheese this by standing on the edges of those paws. And you can stay up on them while he does all the breath things that attack the center of the room. find any more that just being patient waiting to take my shot 
just gives me a better chance of success. There we go. In too early. me this way. Don't like it. Let me take a crack at him, please. Ah. Uh. And yes, you have to charge all the way up to pink to be able to hit him at all. In this form. Anything else will just tink. Oh, little tank tink. There. I only actually need a very small boost. These things take me really close to his head. I'm not entirely sure why. Miss that one. Also, every time I hit him, it only does one damage. One little dot. Not sure if you guys noticed that or not, but that's that's just how it do. Rolling shield is the only sub-weapon that can hit him. And it also only hits... Ah! He had one health! It also only hits for one. <laughs> Which means you actually can't hit- you cannot kill him with only the, uh, rolling shield. It'd be much easier if they let you use other things, because, like, uh, the tornado wave would be fantastic. You could hit him from the ground. It'd still be hard to, to time it so that you don't get your ass kicked while doing it. No! He did damage to me, chat! No!
does this. No! Unfortunately, I think what's killing me the most right now is how much my hands are hurting. I love how his the sound of his health bar charging actually sounds like it's part of that sound effect. It sounds like part of the little music ditty. Come back from pause with a slight immune. I'm chaining these attacks. You ride. when it chains the giving me rise. I do mind when he change it to change the uh ground attacks. Aw, I didn't do dash. I did hit the button. Me chat. Do the dash. I'm having some problems with button recognition. Not actually recognizing the key presses. button.
I know we got him this time, because I wasn't afraid to use my sub-tanks. I hate missing a ride. Because the rides are one to one damage to the boss. You cannot deal damage you cannot deal more than one point of damage to the boss. For every ride you miss, that is one whole damage. You can't do. Stop! Of course, I'm watching his maw so I don't see his paw coming at me. This is it. Goodbye! No! It's not possible! I'm a Reploid! I can't be destroyed by you! Why, X? Why have you done this to us? Without the humans, my Reploid brothers would have ushered in a new age! And this is some more of the best songs. Like, oh, the music in this game is fantastic. The war has ended for now, and peace has been restored. But those who sacrificed themselves for the victory will never return. A statement which ages like milk, by the way. Exhausted, X gazes at the destruction he helped cause, and wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? Standing on the cliff, the answers seem to escape him. He only knows that he'll fight the, Repl the Mavericks again before he finds in Mega Man X2. <laughs> How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? Maybe only the X-Buster on his arm knows for sure. See, this is back when the original creator of Mega Man was still working. Now he's worked on Mighty Number no. 9. And that also aged like milk. But this, as you can see, I had a blast. This is a good game. This is fun. You know what I mean? This is a great game. It aged like wine. It's it's fantastic still today. That is a good game. Not everything in the Mega Man series is. You don't talk about Mega Man Legends. You don't talk about it. And I don't, I'm afraid I I don't know a lot about the named Mega Mans. You know, like uh, what is it, ne Mega Man Net dot net or. I don't know. There's 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 a bunch of new weird ones that I don't know much about. Net an NT Warrior, I think. I don't know. Um, like all of these classic ones, Mega Man one through like ten, Mega Man X through like <laughs> Mega Man X ten or something. I don't know. I don't know how many Mega Man Xs they made, but they're pretty good. What I, I gotta say though, my favorite character in the entire game of Mega Man X is Zero. In Mega Man X2, Zero. <laughs> Mega Man X3, Zero. <laughs> I just love Zero. He's such a cool character. I mean, it's cool to see Mega Man 
getting stronger and looking cooler. Like, it was amazing that the upgrades that you got in this game actually made him look different. Like, that was something we didn't really see much back in these days, because it requires changes to the sprites. Like, he's got to have, what, like 12 different sprites for all the different uh, upgrades that he may or may not have? I think, and I don't think you can get any of them without the boots. That might remove one. It's just beautiful. I love this. By the way, did it before, you're about to see. Did it before Marvel. I just want to put that out there. Also, how cool is it that they didn't... Like, I don't know whether this was their choices, right? If this was not the choices of the people that worked on it, then, okay, I've got a little bit of an issue. But, otherwise, if this was just something that they were all on board with, where everyone just used either pseudonyms or, or single names, that's so cool to me. I don't know whether it, it, it was a it was a space decision or something, but it just like Professor F. That's not his real name. Honolulu Yama. That's probably not a real name. White Rock. Probably not a real name. You know, like this is cool. I I, I like that they didn't have to take themselves too seriously back back in this time. Back before Capcom decided to just screw everybody. I remember how I said did it before um, did it before Marvel this is the thing you're about to see after credits scene you may have won a temporary victory, X. What you destroyed was only a temporary body. My spirit remains intact. In time, I will find other bodies strong enough to do my bidding. And I will return. I shall see you soon, X. Fairies. How cool is that? After credit scenes... Fucking... 20 years before uh, before uh, Marvel was credited with doing it. Like, I know they weren't unheard of before. It's still so cool to see it in a video game. And that's a cool way to get people to, to, to watch your actual outro. But... Speaking of actual outros, that was Mega Man X. is about two, two and a half hours of stream. So um, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. We're not going to do X2 tonight. I may jump into X2 on Friday. Uh, heads up, I am not as good at X2 as I am at X1 because I was never able... Like, I was a kid when these were out, right? And I was never able to afford Mega Man X2 or X3. And uh, my mother, who, bless her heart, was an adult, right? So she did not know, she did not understand the idea of sequels in video games. So when she saw was Mega Man X, and then Mega Man X2 and X3, uh, because of the way the art was on the box, because it was written kind of like an exponent, which made it weird for her. So... She uh, didn't understand that X2 was a different game and wouldn't buy it for me. And I was not able to save up enough money to buy it. Um, so I got to play it because I rented it from Blockbuster of all places. Actually, I think I, I, I don't think I was going to Blockbuster anymore at that point. 
think I probably got it from either Family Video. For those of you who remember these old stuff, man, I am really showing my age. Uh, family video, Hollywood video, or there was one that was, there, they had a video and video game rental shop in the middle of, like, an IGA super center. That was a, 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 a grocery store that just had a couple shelves with a bunch of video games and, and videos. I found my old Blockbuster card when I moved. I threw all my Blockbuster cards away. They, they're, they're not worth anything. Um... So I don't have those anymore. Um, I can't... Sh they're not going to find my age. <laughs> I have to out myself. Um, but yeah, I had I had Hollywood video. I had family video. I had Blockbuster. I had the IGA Super Center. I, I went to all these places when I was young. And we would rent videos and video games and everything. And... Sometimes I had to go to several of them to find the video game that I wanted and make sure it was in stock. And, and, th and then I would wind up keeping it for too long because it takes too long to beat the games that I wanted to play. And they only give you like two or three day rentals. <laughs> like they didn't understand the, the, these, these old stores. They didn't understand that video games are not the same as videos. So... Although they applied the same rules to videos and video games, so you'd get two and three day rentals, they didn't understand that these video games take longer to beat. That that you, you don't get to finish consuming the content in two hours. Now, with this, obviously you do. I mean, obviously, having just sat here and streamed myself beating this game, getting all the collectibles, 100%ing this game in two and a half hours... Obviously, this game you can, but like Final Fantasy, you can't. I rented Final Fantasy VI probably 15 times in a row in order to beat it. Um, I didn't, I actually did not own Final Fantasy VI until I was already grown. But it was my favorite video game. It still is my favorite video game. So, um,. Yeah, and by the way, my copy of Final Fantasy VI, which is yep, right here, I'm sitting here looking at it. I have it signed, and I'm showing the video game to the microphone as though either I have a cam on or you would be able to see the, 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 the video game through the camera. Uh... Oh god, okay. But I have it signed by Nobue Matsu, which is something that I owe to a couple of friends of mine because they uh, were going to Nakakan one year when he was there, which is an anime convention, and he was going to be there, and they got... I, I Actually, I think that's the one where they brought me there the next day, and I paid for a one-day pass and went in, and I got to hand my copy of Six to Nobe Matsu and he signed it which is really cool because Nobe Matsu is the person who inspired me to want to become a musician um that was one of my old dreams right was to be a musician to sing and to to do music and to compose and the reason why I wanted to do it was because of Nobe Matsu's music in the Final Fantasy series um, and then I found out that year in a Q&A panel that Nobue Matsu's favorite Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VI. It was his favorite game and the favorite one that he worked on. And that's really cool for me to know um, that, that me and him both have the same favorite Final Fantasy. Uh, also, the stream time is absolutely a lie. I don't know why it didn't reset. Um... But don't don't pay attention to that stream uptime. There's nothing to that. Anyway. So, by the way, I'm going to be uploading these to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be YouTube uh, I'm going to be at youtube.com slash ATK, just like I am here. You can already search for me there. I've got a bunch of flight sim videos. I will be starting to also throw up some uh, some of these videos. Um, I do have a couple downloaded. 
but I don't have them uh, ready to upload yet. I'm hoping to kind of do a retro game every Wednesday and a flight sim video every Friday. That's kind of my upload schedule as I've kind of worked it out in my head. Um, so basically, I want to see from you guys every day. Uh, so if you would, if you're here on Twitch watching me right now, please go to YouTube, look up Iraq ATK. And then subscribe to me. Maybe view a few a few of my videos, drop some likes on them, uh, make some comments, whatever it takes, whatever you're willing to do. Or don't. No pressure. Uh, however, if you are watching this on YouTube right now and you have seen us through the almighty algorithm that hates me to death, um, by some magic, if you are one of those rare people, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Make a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Matter of fact, I do want to hear from you guys what you think about this overlay. I made this overlay today. Um, I scrambled to get that ready, and I hope it looks good. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it looking a little more polished. I certainly do. 